to my channel. So, I thought I'd just share with you today a fun little illustration and do a little draw with me because I've never done anything like this on my channel before and I just thought it'd be really nice so I'm going to do a nice little sloth for you. <laughs> I do enjoy drawing animals that's where I kind of like I don't know I, I never like drawing people really animals is where it's at for me and who doesn't like a cute little sloth so I'm going to do like a very like kind of a fun rough textured kind of pencil well I say pencil drawing I'm going to be using the 6B pencil mainly in Procreate to draw this but I'm just going to show you the process really and um, I will pop a little voiceover while I'm drawing just so I can chat to you a little bit and tell you the process and what I'm doing um talk about layers a little bit the kind of tools that I like to use but yeah just general wanted to show you my little drawing so I hope you really enjoyed this video do let me know if you're interested in more videos like this and I will certainly produce them for you um more than happy to do that because it just means that I get to spend some time doing what I love and what I don't put enough time into I will pop my illustration account for Instagram on screen now for you so if you are interested in this kind of thing give me a little follow over there show some love say hi <laughs> and let me know if you've come from this video that'd be nice so I can see you right let's get straight into it so to do my drawings I actually use an app called procreate and I have the iPad Pro I think it's 20 2020 I can't remember <laughs> yeah I'm sure it's 2020 and I have the Apple pencil as well so in Procreate it is a one-off purchase it's a £10 app um, so once you've bought it that's it you've got it for good which is amazing so what I always do is I create a layer first just to do a really really rough sketch so I'll just grab like a pencil brush and then I'll just start drawing it out once I've drawn the first layer I will make a new layer and I will go over that again really roughly but just a bit of a like darker prominent just to kind of get in the key shapes because I feel like when drawing a lot of it is just shapes you're just thinking of like different shapes to put it together I just wanted to mark out the clear sketch and just make it a little bit more prominent so when I'm working on a new layer I know exactly where I want to start shading adding color things like that so it's really important to make sure that you do everything on separate layers because then if you wanted to amend a layer if you've got like multiple things drawn on top of each other you will literally only be able to edit like if you wanted to erase any of it it would erase the whole thing so really important to think about different layers and it really helps having this like sketch layer underneath um, and I obviously lower the opacity of that so then above I can kind of see what I'm drawing on top of so like I mentioned in the intro I am using the 6B pencil I just really like drawing and colouring shading with the 6B pencil I love the texture it gives and I just really like how it looks when colouring in so as you can see I'm just shading in each layer here with the 6B pencil a lot of the times I do have like a little play around trying to find out colours have a look at different colours I do have colour palettes saved but on this occasion I did just I just kind of winged it I winged the whole thing so I was quite I was actually quite proud of how it turned out because I don't usually challenge myself to do things under pressure like this is I've never done anything like this before so I was quite happy how it turned out and I did feel the pressure I was like oh my goodness the camera is rolling I need to get this looking okay <laughs> something I always tend to do on my animal drawings and I don't know why I do it I always tend to add like little rosy cheeks um no idea why they're all just blushing on my <laughs> illustrations um I just think it's really cute it just adds that little extra cuteness to it um yeah I really like doing that <laughs> So at this point, as I'm just creating each layer um, of the face and I will be moving on to the body as well, I will add in textures and shades, shading and things like that after. This is just to get the basis of 
This is just to get the basis of the drawing together. As you can tell here, I was just kind of playing around with different colours, what colour shades would work on the body of the sloth. Um, I think I changed it a few times to be honest, but it's just drawing around just to just to get the colour in there. And that's the fun thing about Procreate, you can just constantly make changes. And that's why I didn't want to remove any of the process of this video. Like, there's a lot of errors in here, there's a lot of like mistakes that I make and correct and there's a lot of development in it and I think that's just the whole process isn't it of like seeing what things work making changes and developing and yeah that's just the fun part of it isn't it really just to achieve seeing where you went and the process it took to achieve the final outcome So I duplicated all these layers together, popped them and I've named that face. So putting all of those layers under one group would then allow me to select the whole face and then I could just grab that and enlarge and just kind of tweak it as I felt it needed to. Uh, in this case I just wanted to enlarge it slightly, just kind of rotate the head just to make it look like it was resting a little bit more on what would be the branch once I'd finished. So that's always really helpful. Um, a really useful tip is to always try and name your layers if you can or even if you're adding them into a group then name the group like I just did like that was face it just helps um, if you're doing a really simple one you might not need to but if you're doing a drawing that was going to include a lot a lot of layers it just helps instead of fiddling around through it you can just read um, I don't know like leaf or you could read grass you could read grass strand a B I don't know do you know what I mean like just make sure you name your layers it just make life a bit easier for yourself Now what I'm doing here is I've created a new layer which sits above the body layer and I am going in with a darker pencil and I have made this a clipping mask so I've clipped it to the layer below so that means that if I draw over the line of the original body it's not going to go anywhere all the drawing on this layer will remain within the body layer but on top of it if that makes sense so this just helps with shading so what I'm doing is I'm doing a really rough job here in a 6B pencil again in a darker shade just where I wanted to add a bit of shading add a bit of texture so I'm just going in really roughly just to kind of define areas of the body And I will obviously take a lighter shade just on the top where the light would hit the top of his back and around his head. Just again, I'm just doing this really roughly and it just helps define and make it feel like a bit more 3D. Now I'm going into the little hand tool so this will help blend in and I've picked a really textured kind of brush and I'm just going in really roughly because what I wanted to achieve was just a really rough textured look. I didn't want anything to look so precise painting or anything like that. I just wanted it to look really rough and full of texture which I think this one definitely achieved. As you can see as it's dragging it out it's just blending in all of those brushes.
I'll often go in again with a bit of a darker pencil and just keep just keep playing really just click click just keep playing really until you get the look that you want to achieve I'm just going in with that blend tool again just around the edges of the cheeks just to make it a little bit more textured a little bit more rough you'll see that I do that a lot I will then do repeat the process here on all the different shapes and layers just to kind of add in those shaded areas where I felt like they were needed just adding those darker elements um, to the fur just in the areas that we've shaded just to make them stand out a little bit more right we're making a new layer now and I'm selecting trying to play around and figure out the color of the branch that I wanted I really wanted it to be a bit more ready so obviously I'm putting that on the bottom layer and I'm just roughly going through the guidelines and then I'll fill that in and then tidy up afterwards
um, the thing I love with Procreate is if you do something and you're not a fan, like you just accidentally ca catch a brush or something like that, you just literally like tap the screen with your three fingers and it will just remove that. And yeah, I think that's always I think that's always good and it just makes it so quick. As you can see, probably throughout this whole process, I'm constantly doing that. <laughs> just as things haven't worked out, I'm just like, oh no, back, back, backspace. <laughs> Right, I'm just getting together the rough kind of shape of a tree branch that I wanted to achieve. This sloth looks pretty happy. I'm not going to lie, he looks happy as Larry there, doesn't he? <laughs> I did there was I just grouped all of the layers and just kind of um, held them together just so I could select everything at once and just kind of enlarge it and just pull the slough over slightly left to the um, well, left hand side of the screen um, just because I felt like it was all shifted to the right a little bit too much I'm just popping on a little bit of greenery a few little leaves just to add to the little branch So what I'm doing now is the same process as what I did earlier. I'll make a new layer above the branch layer, clip that, uh, use it as a clipping mask to the layer below, and then just kind of go in really roughly with a darker shade just to get in all those shading of where I want to blend after with like the little blend tool. Again, I'm just doing it really rough, adding some lighter elements to it as well. And then I'm gonna be adding the darker one just under his chin, just where that little shadow would be. for the fun part we blend 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 <laughs> so what you can do at the side there is you can obviously increase or decrease the size of the brush and um, whether that's a blending brush or your general brush or your eraser and the other little button um, the other little like kind of tool below is just to lower and well increase and decrease the opacity of that so if you want it to be very slight or soft you can achieve that if you want something to look really harsh you can also achieve that which is really good I will say obviously the pressure of the pen um, when you're drawing, um, it's like you're drawing in real life, if you put more pressure on you can achieve a, so you can achieve a different kind of effect to as if you were drawing really lightly, which is an amazing thing about the iPad Pro. Just drawing some little markings on the tree now in the same brush tool I've literally used the same brush tool throughout the whole <laughs> of this video but it just goes to show sometimes you can do something and you don't have to have lots of different brushes and things you can just achieve you can achieve an illustration with just one I'm just going back and find adding those finer details now into the leaves.
and I just wanted to do some final touch-ups on the cheeks because obviously the opacity looks low. You can see the face markings underneath so I just wanted to kind of cover that in and blend that in. This was the part where I was like, is it done? And I was like, oh, I've missed something. I've missed his little claws. <laughs> so I went back in and added bows. I was looking at it like something isn't quite complete. And I was like, yeah, that's it. We got there in the end. There we go. And that is my final sloth, guys. I really hope you liked this video. I thought, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different on my channel, isn't it? But I was really happy with Mr. Sloth, especially as I was put under a lot of pressure here with the camera of just like, right, draw, off you go. <laughs> but give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye.